Okay. <laughs> Five bars. Is good. Uh, no, I really didn't prepare for the uh, the bar today. Uh, but either way, we are ready, ladies and gentlemen. I'm excited. You're excited, and I hope perhaps you can get your parents excited. They've probably got nothing better to do right now. Tell them about OG Fanatic and tell them that perhaps OG could be continuing to be the wild card in the group. Or will we see the Fanatic that took this very map against Astralis yesterday? They locked down the Great Danes, and now OG, the international roster that could stands in their way. A whole lot of utility for a T-side pistol, Henry. Good grief. There's a lot of it out there, that's for sure. Three smokes, a Molotov, HG oh grenades, flashbangs, and no upgraded pistols. Only two players with Kevlar at this point, and maybe one about ahead as JW no. does spot MBK. He's got him very low, goodbye, finishes nades. him off. And that's goodbye grenades. Bear in mind, you only drop one grenade upon death. You don't drop the complete set. Only your most valuable grenade will go down on the floor. So there's a Molotov down in second middle that will no longer get to see the light of day. They can congregate towards Banana, and already JW, the assassin of the first, is already just meandering his way towards the correct site. As he does ever so well, most of the time. Oh, and but maybe. The... Imagine if as soon as oh, he gets hurts. there, he catches two nades. No, not quite right. It's the sex number of health left. And Issa in the said does tack away, but it's going to be JW with a second. Straight through into Mantu on that CT smoke. Still a very slow crawl from the OGTs. Yeah, they haven't fully committed just yet, but here they come towards this B-bomb side. Smokes are still down. They've got JW and Golden towards the coffin position. SS sneaking through, confirms the new boxes and emo are clear. As they go for the plant here, the smoke's about to dissipate. Will they be able to get it down? They will. JW can't answer back. And Issa, it's a great shot with a block, but Golden, even better. Huge. Three on one, bow there towards Banana. It's not a great plant for him. Smoke's gone down as well. They do have a kit. This should be a foregone conclusion. Oh, and they've spotted him. Good jiggle from Crims. Brolin's not going to miss a shot like that and Fnatic successful retake onto the B site, but credit to JW. He got not only the opening, but the second as well. If we just want to quickly catch people up on maybe some of the, the changes in the tide yesterday for OG, they actually won their map pick, right? That's, That's one true. thing to look at. Now, this is their map pick again, but the problem for them is Fnatic, they've been in the Pro League losing the opening maps, and yesterday, well, they decided they wanted to win the opening map. So both teams uh, had changed at least how it was trending yeah. for them, but one of them is going to lose that again straight away today. Just to add context to that, it was OG against Na'Vi yesterday. They won under Inferno. Yes. 16 to 7. Made Boomich look stupid. And yeah, Boomich was 0 and 9. He was pushing all over the place. It was difficult to really take that much away from the game. There were so many strange events and anomalies that were happening that I don't think can be uh, accounted for or sustainable going forward. But uh, there's another chance of a kill. JW takes Issa down to 23, but I think he gets dropped here. Yeesh. He's overcommitted, and the SMG will find him. Yeah, Alexi's going to take a lovely little M4 upgrade, and Mantu's accelerating to try and fill the gaps that have been left by JW's death. Crimson charging towards Long and puts some suppressing fire down range, catching the head of one of the Danes. Valve is gone. And, oh man, Brolin is only going to get one for one. The trades are favoring the T's into the A site. Bomb will likely go down. Very aggressive scenes here from Fnatic, but you're right. Three on two favors Ooh. OG, but Mansu and Issa have been tagged. Alexi being all far behind them as well. Golden encroaches on the position to him. And Issa will find him. Good pickup. Should be the round considering it's just an MP9 remaining here. But it is flush up. No kid available, no nades. Just looking to cause some damage because they can't survive in the pit here. Their HP is too low. So uh, they're going to have to exit and they know it. So Issa is trying to clear out the halls for them at this point. Flush is so smart. Footsteps are heard. He's going to get himself at least one hit. Oh, caught out. Good frag from Issa. Keeps hold of all of that goodie into the next. M4 and Kevlar. Now, based off of yesterday when JW was doing the aggressive plays to stifle Astralis, who were doing their fast four alt middle attack to get Boiler and Halls and top mid control very quickly, he was aggressive and he was constantly a thorn in their side. Here, it worked on the pistol round. It set them up with that early rotation over towards B. But you can see the flip side of that coin when he goes down early. The gaps that Brolin and Crims were left to cover off, it was too many, and they got <laughs> overwhelmed on that site. Don't even, don't even, let's not even, we let's, won't even we're pretend not it's here. It. We're not talking it's about it. It's normal now, Henry. <laughs> I was just going to say the MP9s are. Oh, okay, yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 Down for bound, the best know. gun in the game. That's all I wanted to talk about. I don't know what you guys are referencing, but either way, the MP9 is there. That is exciting prospect. You see Golden now challenging with the 5.7, but he's in a lot of trouble here. The smoke will go down, and it's enough to actually push them back here. So he will be able to go towards the safety of the bomb site. JW rotates in. I'll be able to spam to the wall He's got, a, he's it, got right? a smoke available as well. And that's about all I have to report on him. <laughs> <laughs> One smoke. <laughs> One smoke for JW and some Kevlar, of course. Kevlar. Don't forget naturally. the Kevlar. We're going to be seeing uh, Flusher holding the smoke, Golden on the contact. We'll try and get one fall off into the site. And smoke. That should be 
Respected. I, I feel like OG, they, they are pretty, quite cagey with these smokes there. There was certainly an opportunity for all five players there to go through against these pistols, but now, if anything, they need to be very careful of the flanks. And luckily, Issa is patrolling the T-steps, so they're okay. Not all five players are committed on this side. But in terms of your remaining utility, we have three players on the CT side here, none of which have a smoke. JW does, though. He drops it just in the nick of time. They found their first kill. It's not the best smoke of the gap there. But the revolver's coming, boys. <laughs> it hits the shot, but it takes Alexi down to 15. It looks like another round in favor. Just going to say it, he would have killed him with, with any deagle. other pistol. With, with a deagle. Uh, besides the USP or the Glock. He definitely would have killed him there. Yeah, and I was about to get really excited about the 85 damage what about bullet did. A PT50? Yes. PT50, yes. 57? Yes. Yes. CZ75. CZ75. Yes. Julie's. Deagle. Deagle is the only one where maybe he doesn't. Julie's probably the perfect weapon for the job, really. Yep. Spam 30 bullets just yep. to run him through, no problem. <laughs> just to know. Now, look, we know it's, it, we get it. We understand it. We're just saying that with another pistol, You can make those observations. He would have made that kill. You can, because. I, I like I get it on maps like train, right? If you're C T defense and you want to use it like a six hundred and fifty dollar scout, is it? get some tags, that's great. Someone's um, got it. Someone's got it. MBK's right now. got it. MBK. Oh you feels like being a bit of a cowboy. You mix. He's got the world's most powerful handgun uh, on his side. Legit question. You've been telling us that MBK is like performing well above his statistical average. He was uh, for the first three games they were winning. Yes. And then when they lost the two, it, it's gonna re return. It's kind of returned. He's still above the level he has been with OG. Yeah, he's still statistically at the top of the squad, I think, in ADR yeah. and EPL so far. Potentially in Mantis ADR, but, yeah, but not, no, not in not, general Not with rating. His yeah. rating is has, is in the red. Sure. Um, overall, it might be looking good, but uh, it, it did dip on off there. So uh, I think he's been able to overall pro league still just uh, uh, maintain an above one rating, but traditionally for the team, he's in the yeah. Well, aggression from Brolan is met by Alexi's M4A4. The MP9 unable to strike any significant damage as Alexi B will now have full control of Banana. And the B side's actually open for now. Crims has gone for a bit of a gamble here. Rotate over towards A, leaving B open. And that might not be working out for them because as you can see, contact playing towards the B site. Three players making their way through, confirming it's clear. Round pretty much confirmed already. That deep smoke and CT spawn is a nightmare to deal with. And at this stage, you might as well hold on to the USPs. It might sell counterintuitive, but instead of letting that MAC-10 farm $600 per kill, uh, hold really defensive angles for any chasing T's, but generally speaking, you don't want to run into the bombs like that. The only thing I think they could get away with here that would be a victory is if they have a, a picked up Cree. The M4s, they're going to buy themselves. So, you know, it's great to have that in terms of not having to spend the money, but in terms of a weapon upgrade, not really there. They should only send Man 2 through the hunt in this smoke. Like everyone else with the rifles, like, go through Banana. That's already confirmed to be clear. You can see players towards T-steps, logs, so everything's covered. MBK is confirmed. Second middle is clear. The only player in spawn should be man two, which seems to be the case. So I'm happy with that. Oh, the flash as well. Flash this is over. This is exactly what we want. He doesn't even really need the Mac 10 for the next round. If he feels overwhelmed, obviously he'll go back, but there's $600. Sure, he dies, but at the end of the day, he means he has a rifle. They have a greater chance of winning the next He's round now. 10K. Yeah, so he'll still be absolutely fine here. I wonder if he brings out the AWP here or if he just sticks with the Krieg, because that's would, one thing we've noted with Mantu. Yeah, well, he's using the orb less. Yeah, especially on a map like Inferno, because he can be more agile and finds him uh, definitely finding more impact for the team. I think yesterday on Dust 2, uh, he finished with 25 kills, and only five of which were with the AWP. Okay. So that, that it goes to show that he really has, maybe not moving away from the weapon, it's more circumstantial, knowing that Na'Vi potentially don't use as many orbs uh, when Simple's on the server as well. Well, OG haven't built the system around him. That's quite clear. So that's another reason that maybe we don't always need it could also just be a, a, a part and parcel of what MBK was talking about, that the main focus is making sure that the call is is concrete and followed through on. It's much easier to follow through and yeah, to, I, to hold I, I found rifle. that an interesting conversation. Like, yeah, I, I noticed that at GG Bet, uh, Ice Challenge in London, that it was OG. It, felt, it felt like that they, they had objectives at the start of each round, but they weren't able to really operate in the mid stages. That's what they really struggled. So I feel like they are a team that they have the objective from the very get go. They, they operate at a much better capacity. And uh, we'll see whether that's going to be fulfilled here. Up against this Mac 10 of Brolan. He's holding towards the apartments here. They are fully invested, but Alexi B will find the first again. This is one of those games where Fnatic are being very, very aggressive, force buying a lot, hoping these rounds will work out for them. The Mac 10 to defend towards quad. Not going to be the weapon of choice. Alexi B makes light work again, but Golden. An opportunity there, but one that is not realized. Just flash the remaining in a four versus one. It's OG stretching their legs once again on Inferno. Yeah. And they're even looking good for five right now because Fnatic will have to take yet another save. If they need to get out all the guns, I think Henry was just uh, 
Making a very good point there. Having an MP9 and a Mac 10 in what is considered to be the first gun round uh, of, of the game. Not the place you want to be finding yourself if you're on the CT side of Inferno, that's for sure. Yeah, they didn't even have enough fire because remember, there's only one Mac 10 that was saved in the previous round. That yeah. was actually taken down at the end. So it's rifles across the board. You had a Mac 10, a UMP, an MP9, and a couple of rifles. It's just not going to be enough. That shouldn't how the first gun round should be going down. No. But uh, at least now they've got the max loss bonus under their... Oh, no, not quite yet, do they? They have to wait another two because they did win that pistol and lose the four. So with that in mind... Here's one for you. Do you feel like OG, considering they're playing against Fnatic, more specifically Brolan, they'll, they'll purchase less Creeks in general, uh, knowing that he is like one of the absolute best Creek players in the world right now? Ooh, um, I don't think so. Maybe they will, may, maybe, I, but I, 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 I don't think he's one of them. I think he's the best Greek user in the game at this point. I would say Brolan is. That's a, that, that's probably a fair assessment. Like after Breezy's like kind of dropped off and in EGF in time, general, sure, yeah. I would just say as of right now, I'd say Brolan's the best Greek user. Yeah, I, I don't know. They've got two out right now, so it, it doesn't seem like it's too much of a worry for them. And neither of them are in Nantu's hands. If there was going to be like a limitation on Kriegs, we've seen Issa have a bit of an affinity for that weapon, and then Nantu using it to supplement the AWP. So it's a good point. Uh, the fact Alexi has it, Issa has it as well, means that I, I think they're just going to pick it up if they're feeling it. I think you might be right. There was some interesting thoughts from Nico today on his Instagram. He was asking an AMA, or answering an AMA, and asked someone else about the Krieg, and he said he feels like it, it's too strong for players that don't have the strongest aim. It means the skill ceiling is reduced. Instead of actually thriving with an amazing world-class aim, you're actually given a crutch with the scope and making sure. things a lot easier. The one taps some auto kill potential on the CT side. He thinks it, it kind of makes things easier for the players that aren't as skilled. Henry, I think that about the money on the scoreboard. I think that about the players showing up on the radar. I think that about a plethora <laughs> of different things in this game, that CSGO has become much easier than its, uh, its predecessors. So, yes. look... I could go on all day about the things that have made this game easier for the plebs, but maybe Ooh, it's a Alexi, good thing. you might even catch this frag. Didn't quite. Nice X-ray toggle. You'll see that it was perfectly guised for the mantle of Golden. So keep your eyes on Smoke Watch. There's only going to be one more, and that's on Brolin, currently in A. So that's going to be thrown out by him now towards Balcony, meaning that there will be plenty of time for OG once this fades to, well, manufacture their execute here to be. Now, Golden's lost a little bit of his health and now eats the perfect flash. We've seen make NBK throw that before. Reactionary damage, though. Golden, he tapped away at two heads before he went down. Fnatic, they have the numbers advantage only for a moment. Nice lurk from Issa. Does catch the rotate of Crims, but through the smoke. JW stopped the plant, and Issa's miles away. Fnatic are going to turn around round six. Unreal. There it is. P250 to 5 7 combo. No R8 nonsense this time. JW does it in style there. That's much more like it. That's a true fanatic victory. So now they have two under the belt, both of the pistols. Bear in mind, they were the one round number one and uh, now round number six. And that was the PT-50 5-7 combo. Brilliant work. The 5-7 does have a lot of DPS output. Close range, can find the one tap. Managed this to get two frame. kills. And then JW, yes, Chad called it. The clock was low. They're going to be panicking, trying to get that bomb down. He denies absolutely everything. And Issa holding the flanks off is doing a good job, but way too far away to help out. The AWP is out in JW's hands and aggressive yet again. It's going to be a common theme with JW as fast. Banana control is being taken here and Golden, well, he's going to pick up where he left off last round and get to the opening kill. Yeah, they actually have a full buy now. The first time as we get to round number seven. Lots of grenades being exchanged. You'd think with the man advantage, they would be happy with that and just get the hell out. This will be the port of call now, and I agree with it, but I think they took a bit too much damage there, considering they got that opening pick. Either way, though, they take Alexi B down to 41. Flashbang over here. Issa. Failed. Challenging towards sandbags. No one has to peek from CT spawn. They just need to hold their smokes and try and push them back towards middle. In terms of terrorist control, three towards Banana and MBK solo in the boiler room right now. Looking towards that apartment position, we have seen a lot of great shots there. Brolin's moved to the back of pit now. He's setting up his top mid smoke right at this point. So that's... Ooh, he's thinking about it. Okay, they're not going to throw it. MBK is going to maintain mid control. And this double stack towards the back of side. They don't have any smokes to extinguish the Molotov that could be landing on... No, Flusher, Flusher does. Never mind. So that's pretty much Flusher's job. In fact, he's holding it right now. The old double stack in new boxes. And he noticed how he's playing on throwing it on the one specific side of the, of the Molotov. To give them a, a swing yeah, potential exactly. on either side. So the idea is the baiting and flusher. So they'll kill Golden. That's the plan. They want him to be the master of this round. So he goes down. They assume new boxes are clear now. But Alexi B, 
Oh, he's getting blocked. Did he notice he another player? That. Yeah, oh. he did. The, the fact he got blocked there, I think he realized. It, it was a little bit odd, but so could this. Oh. As JW denies the plant again. Another three versus two. Nine seconds remaining. There's no oh. time as he keeps finding them through the walls here. Mantu left in the three versus one. It all falls apart as JW rises from the ashes once again. It's the AWP providing the numbers this time. Oh, never mind. We're on this, boys. We're going to show a quick bit of Skybox here. The other round where Issa killed Crim's pushing is actually what facilitated JW to push on through knowing Issa was so far away, he could find the frags and he knew that that rotation was forever away. That's why he was so cavalier with that push. But that was the cue for him to yeah. go because he knows that bomb has to be planted. I've got a 1v1 on the side. Precisely. The player patrolling towards Banana is very far away. He, so he had a, Quick a window of opportunity. Um, but that's another great round from JW. The AWP looking very strong today, I have to say. And uh, we're getting to round eight here. More utility thrown towards B. You can see the smoke in return here. Flashbang over the top. Usher and Golden being very active at this point. You can see shots fired down towards the bottom of T-Steps, actually connecting towards Valda. Three of them landing in his chest. Comes up, spots one towards Logs. Could cost Flash for his life. They're down to 46. Needs to be careful on the grenades, which they will be flying in. And he does avoid them. Gets given the AWP as he's being taken down a half health. So if we just take stock with these first seven rounds played, oh my god, he's on a bad one. Just picking dry like that. That is such a nuisance, right? Because you set up early, you throw your initial grenades to make sure the AWPers can't go for early picks, but normally you don't expect the mid-round picks like that to come on in. So JW with his classic style that does look a little bit disrespectful to fundamental CS, but that's a great way to unravel an execute heavy team here who once again are heading back towards this B bomb site. Don't forget, Flusher caught some damage early, so playing Coffins is going to be... Oh, I was going to say more passive. He's opting for a different approach, and so is JW. One? He's actually caught another one in the meantime. <laughs> the entire Lurk in apartments has been ripped out of the server. MBK and Issa forced to watch these three give it a good go. Valder, as the smoke clears, is a sitting duck, and Golden, well, he fancies duck for dinner. Lexi likely to fall here on his swing. Flushes. Ooh, not known to be in the orb, but he will hit the shot, find his first. And we find ourselves at a 4-4, an impasse. That right there is the example of why it's so difficult to aim at players in the back. In the because back, yeah. you never know why, why they're transitioning in a certain direction, yeah. right? Because if you're looking at them from range, their decision-making is completely... Uh, you, you don't know what their objective you, is. They're looking at you. Exactly. If they're, You're going to expect the left-right P because you guys are fighting in an actual duel. But when they're doing something else, it's like... He has no idea who I'm here, usually, right? So those, those frags are the hardest to get within the game. It sounds silly. JW with the One dry peak to his middle. So yeah. I wanted to see the clock. <laughs> just, just, just straight up peak towards middle. Nailing every single shot at this point. Flusher did miss one, but they maintain the double orb setup. It's golden as using the secondary sniper over towards the B side of the map here. And we do have two Kriegs now. We uh, did speculate as to whether Brolin would get one. He certainly has. As we get into round nine here, their defenses couldn't be stronger. Two orbs, two Kriegs, an M4 for Crims. And he's more than fine with that as JW peeking down towards the underpass once again. Smoke down at the very start. It's actually a decoy to block his vision, but uh, maybe just a bait out some utility. He's just holding that. Anyone could walk up second middle right now. Why is he not paranoid? Somebody would have taken advantage of that, but that requires you to have the cojones to walk up into what you know is JW's turf. Yeah, no, normally these defaults have tendencies, right? So Samuelson would have done a good job of being like, this is normally the time they clear boiler. If they throw this nade or this Molotov, they're doing this set, uh, set play. Right. So JW knows these kind of timings and those early tells is what can, uh, I guess, help him make a guesstimation on where he needs to be on the map to find these openings. And apparently now it's back over towards the B site. Interesting. So JW's deploying his smoke to support the B numbers. I'm counting quickly uh, a grand total of one smoke for the B defense, and that will be on Golden. They are heading towards A, though, but JW has arrived in time. They've got full mid control here. Are they going to check Crimson's trash position? On the overlooks, and once again, it is. He gets free oh. from here. The smoke actually helps him out tremendously. They've got great screens as they come through as Grims picks up a quad kill now. Still alive and kicking as well. Finds a Krieg, and now poor old Valder 
trying to take him down, deny the ace potentially. They could be walking into the crosshair, and there it is. Ace found for Crims, holding in one of the most basic positions you could probably find on the map. Nothing too flashy about it. One player overlooks it, Chad, and it all falls down. Yeah, and you have to think about JW going over to B and dumping that smoke. We talk about the T's, right? When they get control of the map, they're calling out what CT sided utility is being used. Oh, they're doing the banana control for two mollies. Oh, there's a flash here. They've dropped their smoke. Second smoke used towards B. Well, third smoke just got heard over towards B, right? So you're assuming the arch side player is probably in transition back over towards A, which he was. It was JW. But Crims was already Crims there the dealing with that part of the map. It's going to be one of these force buy situations coming out from that. Sorry, partial buys coming out from OG in. This worked against Navi, but oh, Flusher with the creep. He's going to hold them off. He's doing an admirable job, that's for sure. But is it enough? They will be greeted by a grenade of Crims, and he swings right in position, finds the Krieg, and ends up with a couple of kills here. He's Mansu with the AWP trying to get this bomb down. Smokes him towards the site. Knows there's a player there, JW. Oh, quite low, actually. Down to 60 HP. The bomb will be planted. It'll go for the full commitment here, knowing JW can't take the risk of bringing this back to a one versus one. Didn't hit the shot into Roland. Gets his second bite of the cherry, expecting the JWCT. Smoke will be fading shortly. It's oh, nutmeg. man, too. He hasn't nutmegged him quite. JW will strike him. Just waiting in the smoke as it fades <laughs> and now celebrating before the diffuse comes in. Ah. Uh... We've Jay asked, does. who did we ask about that? It was Tabson, right? We asked Tabson about it. Yeah. Like, yeah, did you care about like, players like spamming your corpse and stuff? And he was like, nah. Didn't no, even notice. Didn't even realize. Yeah. I realize. I realize every time because uh, <laughs> we get to observe him after he's doing uh, winning the rounds. Look yeah. at Specky. You know, all he had to do is sit in the smoke, sit back and wait, and he wins the round. One versus one against Man 2 there. Good job by Krim swinging in with the AK-47. Gets a couple of kills. Just denies a lot of side control there and enables them to win out in the two versus one. Six, four, and that will be five rounds in a row for Fnati. Bear in mind, they picked up the pistol, lost four in a row after that, but ever since they've actually got a full buyout, they've looked like a very convincing, well-rounded squad. Flush has decided to walk down Banana's ground, and JW's decided to walk down middle. Oh, he doesn't Ow. get punished. I have no idea how JW's still alive. Flusher went aggressive too, and he caught some nades. He's down to 16 as well. Look how forward in Banana he is still on this low HP. Like, one bullet through the smoke, and Flush is dead. And he's still just staying in this forward position. OG are playing so passive. They still have three players at the back of T-Stairs. They're just waiting for all of this banana utility to get used on out. Seeing a T holding the T-Ramp for the banana push is always such an uncomfortable appearance. It just looks dangerous. And now they're going to be trying to claw it back. And yeah, Flush's low HP will be finished off. But enough of a distraction for Golden to level. Yeah, Golden was hoping to bait him in. If he could, oh. they line up for him. A lot of damage pushed out there, and there's enough time bought as well for a rotation. You can see the Crims has already arrived once again. He'll have to be the savior of the B-bomb site. Might have to jump up on the coffins at this stage, and he has got vision. They will be swinging a Kriegs, bear in mind, but Crims deals with them. At least one of them. Two on two. 40 seconds remaining. Mansu and Issa separated again. Issa always seems to be so far away from the pack. There's no way they can go for the plan here, but they do have 30 seconds, I suppose, as Mansu yeah, they can will decide back. to fall back towards A. And that's the right move, considering JW's just... Walked over towards the B side of the map. Ooh, OG, they got the read. They got it right. And JW's gap has going to likely be exploited. I'm not sure if they're going to cross out. They smoked it. No issues there, but it is going to confirm that the A site is necessary to rotate to. Roland's going to pull up his socks and get a jog on. Well, they've got incendiary smokes, flashes, kits. Certainly worth going for it. A lot of money behind them as well, but it doesn't look like they'll pick it up. So much to do. It's got to be smoke the bomb, incendiary the apartments, go for the defuse, force them out. It all starts here, boiler. Oh, Roland's going to clear it. He's foul. Gets the advantage. Mantu, that's a bit of a misstep. Molly. Now there's an incendiary straight towards this position. He doesn't have a smoke. He's caught the nade. He's burning, but he's got 6 HP. And the precision wasn't there. <laughs> Had to be the one tap into the head of Roland, and he likely would have won the round. But body shots do not suffice. Seven for Fnatic. Th that's the longest 40 seconds of my life. And when right. I say that, I think for everybody, when you're sitting and waiting, and there's no noise made, JW with the distraction, sure, but still no real noise or threat. And the next minute, you're dead, right? There's yeah. a Molotov on top of you. Your posi <sighs> position There's a need following it. That oh. was wild. I, I just feel like, though, OG and that particular two on two just weren't playing off each other. There was no crossfire established there. I could see what they were doing, one towards boiler and one in the pit. But there's no way to pivot off each other at that point. They can't work with each other. And that's a common pre fire holding towards boiler room like i've died there so many times yeah. i'm always pre buying that spot at i think stage. the biggest problem was they didn't actually know where jw was the whole time oh my <laughs> God. they know where golden is they've got an idea 
He's rushed he's down two. towards Boomage being got couldn't two. couldn't do that yesterday. Golden showing him how it's done, apparently. Yeah, apparently so. Flush is not happy with two kills, though, apparently. He wants a little bit more. JW with a swing on this, and he's going to go down. MBK will spam out. I'm not sure why they weren't happy with that advantage there. It is the old Fnatic way, of course. Has to keep fighting. There's no way he can fall back with that Molotov here. Another rotation coming in. Is that Brolin or Crims? It's Crims. He has a flash, so Flush can re-peak. Crouching into the line does net him the frag. So another 2v2, OG and Fnatic. These guys have been inseparable in these mid-rounds. It comes down to clutches, three rounds in a row. Nade softens them up. Alder and NBK. The French starter and a Danish dessert on the menu for the Swedish chefs. Or will the food fight back? Smoke CT. Bombs on Valder, has yet to commit to it. Rotate's coming in now from his teammate, Brolin. And it's <laughs> Sorry, what? Straight through the smoke, NBK gets goofed. Valder wins these, though. These two versus ones where he's got a bit of time, the bomb's down. But Fnatic being very patient here. They have incendiary, smoke, flash, nade. Once they smoke the bomb, Valder's in a lot of trouble. It will smoke towards Banana, and that's even more of a nightmare. He'll have no vision now. And once they touch the bomb, he'll have to push through. He's hoping there's a gap. They're being very slow about this, Fnatic, but they seem to have uh, ascertained that he is towards Banana. Move. The Brolin move. To get the line of sight. Oh, my God, it could... No, what? He stopped it. He, he stopped he spraying. He thought he got him off the bomb. A flash, but it's not enough. He does the Brolin trick against the very same, but not quite enough to convert the round. <sighs> he thought he did enough there, didn't he? For oh. this smoke. I guess what else can you do? You, yeah. just, you just assume at that point. You think you're spamming towards the bomb. You've got the line up. You've killed one of them. You're just hoping for the best. Unfortunately, though, pulls out the flashbang. Thought that was enough time, but the defuse was still going strong. And uh, considering he was smoked out and... And a really difficult spot. It was still a great effort. Very yeah. good effort, though. Very, very good effort. Look at the constant, you know, just peaking, though, from Fnatic. They refought Banana three times then, and they don't want to allow OG to set up with set pieces. He's actually ahead of the mid smoke. Alexi's just thrown top mid. JW continues to go aggressive, and this time he just looks like a silly boy sticking out like a sore thumb. Iss is happy to uh, punish the aggressive push. Golden's going to go for the half wall smoke here but they're already ahead of it. This would achieve nothing unless there's a Molotov following suit. He does have one. Yep, he does. He's throwing it all in there. That's going to get things a bit hot and bothered for the OG camp, forcing them forwards into the line of sight. Golden's doing it all. Damage inflicted. Flush's swing is unrelenting, but unsuccessful. And one is not enough. That's two members of Fnatic thrown into a four-opponent situation. Wow. Surely OG will pick this one up. They've given away seven rounds in a row now. It's a four versus two with the bombers in down, meaning the Brolan and Crims do have a bit of a chance to do something with this. But it looks like Crims has opted to save his weapon at least. He's still towards the apartments looking for Isil, I'd imagine. And uh, nowhere to be seen. All four players sticking together. Maybe you know, they found a bit more success this time. They had to battle through absolutely everything there. It was a nice re-aggress from the CTs, the smoke going down, the incendiary as well, certainly did force him into the bomb side there, but he didn't have enough firepower behind it. The spray down from the boosted position, it did damage, but unless you're connecting with the head up there, very difficult spot, very tradable. Brolin, uh, if he can do any damage here, oh, he doesn't want to go for it, does he? Is he? Is he? He's going to chase them down banana. Look, I like it. Any kills coming in here is great for Brolin. He's going to be too late. The bomb's going to explode. He's not going to get too much done, only finds the single. If he had multiple frags, then that's fantastic because Fnatic, they have enough for a buy. They can make this work right here. Whereas on the other side of things for OG, there were if he took down, like, let's say three members right there, yeah. their, their buy would it, be ruined. I, I I haven't seen that move too often, you know. Like knowing the bomb's going to go down, and you are as well, you're just pushing past them and trying to catch them as they escape, knowing there's a chance you could ninja it as well, so they're yeah. going to stay to the very last moment. If he does get two or three kills, that, that would be monumental. It actually does have a bit of a knock-on effect here. We do see a MAC-10 brought out. I guess MBK is assuming He's the money's low. that, right? Man has 4,300. Yeah, so they, they've chosen to go for the MAC-10. Suggest something a little bit quicker, oh, or a scouting okay. operation, but... Oh, they're about that. Crims has just absolutely wrecked him there, but there is a call in return. Alexi B, a banana, locked in. It's going to be golden against him here. Oh my goodness, bro. what are you up to? Doesn't have a signature weapon. MBK will find him at the MAC-10 and upgrade himself. Oh, he oh, chooses on the, the wrong time. 
JW punishes that Fnatic. It's so hectic. One minute 20, by the way, still into this round as we find a one versus two going down the Fnatic way. Yeah, they're forcing OG to play mid round, something that they just can't have a lot of experience with as a team doing, right? In practice, you're normally getting away with your defaults. You're not playing against teams who are just scrimming around the map, which is exactly what Fnatic are doing right now. Through the Molly Golden goes. Has some nades to deal with this pit position. Molly will force them away from the bike, but has to land the shot. It's not good enough there from Golden. Good enough from Mantu, though. We said his rifle capabilities are something we haven't really seen before, known as the AWP of the squad, but in his previous teams, he was just a secondary AWP. So his rifle is actually very proficient as well. As you can see, three big frags there found towards the B side of the map as we go into round number 15. The revolver's back out here, boys. We're going to see JW heading back into the Wild West, joined by the FAMAS CZs and uh, a couple of Deagles as well. We'll see whether this works out for Fnatic with its final round. I think OG would be satisfied with an 8-7 scoreline on their T side, but remember, Fnatic did win the pistol and won that second round. We'll see whether this is where they can get one more. The, the R raid surely isn't where they find it. I hope it is. Oh. Okay, well, Golden. Feeling like he's been pressured a lot in Banana this game. We'll get taken down again by Alexi, who's done a decent job entry fragging towards that part of the map. Currently sitting with 12 frags to his name. Second highest in the server, just behind Crims. <laughs> Boost. Interesting. This is often very checked. Looks like MBK did catch one of those bullets. We've got a good idea where Flusher is. Yeah, they're hoping this smoke will give them one kill here. A CT core out of position would be ideal towards Coffin, spots him, and actually works out against a 5-7 at that range, comes out on top. Wow. Well then, that throws a spanner into works. Look at the damage pumped out as well. Valdo and MBK, super low. JW though, here comes the revolver. No! Oh, it's working out, let's go! The most powerful handgun in the world delivers once again. It's a double kill, and he's found a Krieg to go with it. Wow. <laughs> That looks pretty damn deadly, if you ask me. 2v2, though, and Issa isn't going to be allowed to plant the bomb. JW's not quite finished ruining this round for OG. <laughs> it's Brolin to contend it. Oh, confirm it, excuse me. My brain's been frazzled. JW, he splattered their brains with the R8 revolver. Quite the way to finish the half. We'll be right back.
Sarah I hurt myself today trying to make the pain go away Sarah I want to fade away, be with the stars in outer space OG Fnatic really inseparable in the first half of our first map. First game of the day, ladies and gentlemen, and it is in the third day of stage two. Fnatic and OG Inferno is where OG wanted to start it off. And well, they got off to a six round T side, which Chad, you suggested they probably wouldn't be too miffed about. No, uh, I think they're going to be very happy with how that one played on out. The force buys early, the fact that OG won the force by war against Fnatic and then were able to actually have a strong T half. That's impressive stuff right there. We saw what happened when Fnatic got the guns on the board though, Henry. Yeah, certainly wasn't an easy run for OG there. They were tested to the maximum of their ability. Losing the pistol, they did went out in the second round, forced by it, led them to a spell of four rounds in a row. After that though, Fnatic, once they got established and managed to get out the big green, especially uh, on JW, that's when they managed to convert this 9-6 half in their favor. They're rushing towards B right now, all five players behind this one. Alexi B struggling with recent form, smoked out towards CT spawn. Valder, same story, but the Molotov's down. Alexi strikes first, now up to Valder, who needs to find at least one before retreating towards the ruins. Yeah, he's get challenged by Golden, he's done well to find that frag cleanly from behind. It's a has strike nicely, and he'll go back and forth. My god, Mantu does behead Flusher. Crim's thrust into a one versus two with the bomb ticking in his favor. There is a hit on Mantu and he's just holding it. Does get forced off by the converted oh. frag, but Mantu, another clutch. This time he prevails and it's going to be oh. the seventh. Yeah, Crims does enough to get him off the full defuse there. They commit with the kit, but then Crims finding the headshot there. There was a chance he could be just sticking it, so Crims has to peek it. Mantu, though, nails a shot on CT spawn. And this is straight up B rush there from Fnatic, nothing too fancy. Trading out kills and they got the bomb down, meaning they can buy onto this round. You're going to see a Krieg in the hands of Brolan, but not the case, actually. He's gone for the Galil instead. Not too mad about that, to be honest with you. I think the Galil and uh, Armour is a very viable purchase in the second round here. They've got Deagles, Mac 10s. It means everyone's got a helmet as well instead of two players about anything and just a Deagle. Lots of posturing across the map here for position. This nade will probably be the first real chunk of oh. damage. And the double nade makes it a kill. They're going to push forward with the flashbang. And Alexi, he can find even more here. Look at Fnatic behind the wall. They have no idea what's going on. Shell shocked for sure. Yeah, but they do break through. Golden wall finds Jesus. the first. Valder with just the MP9 here. He needs to be very careful. He'll spam again. It looks like Valder wants to push through this. Waits on the other side of the smoke here. Fnatic. Assess their options. Valder just trying to push them back here. Still four players on this side of the map. I'm expecting the B smokes to come through. Krim lines one up for the coffins here. Golden with the Molotov. There's a smoke actually going in. That's landing on the bomb side itself. We'll see whether this works out for them. They take a lot of damage. Trying to get into this position. 15 initially from Brolan. Converts it. Now Valder. There's so much work here with the MP9. His teammates will chime in for CT spawn, and that's going to be enough. That will be OG converting the second round, and presumably the third as well. Full eco on the cards. Yeah, ding, ding, ding. OG win the force by wars in the second half as well. So the pistol round that Fnatic won to kick things off, it doesn't even matter. That round, uh, all it is is one extra one on the board for them. In terms of the flow of the game, they've had to battle back with deficits, and this will be the same story here, as you will just see a couple of pistols get upgraded through. When their guns come out, it will be a different story. We've seen what Fnatic are capable of on their T side. The default will be Flusher and Golden over towards Banana. JW holding the middle pushes. You're going to have Brolin and Crims. The uh, very dynamic duo of the youngster with the veteran as they will be working boiler and holes. But so they're going for a default spread on their pistol upgrade as well. We've seen a lot of eco victories so <laughs> far in EPL. Luckily, MVK will pull oh. one back through the smoke. So he's lucky they didn't push up and on that. Oh, no, they have! NVK, he's still going to be saved thanks to Issa, but he actually tried to swap out to the FAMAS, ended up falling back to the arch with only a USP. Fortunately, he stabilized enough to find his second. But, oof, just a moment of oopsie. 
And Slush is, yeah, he's having his own moment right now. Back of the head, we talked about that. Very difficult to uh, hit those shots. Well, he's just be delaying the round at this point. No intention of winning it, but if he can find one more kill, he knows that'll be annoying for them. 5 HP, just could be looking for any CTs out of position here. Here comes Issa, as he'll tuck himself in towards the new position. One bullet will do it. Issa connects it, and they'll tie things up at 9-9. That was a full eco from Fnatic. Did make things a little bit interesting, that opening Deagle kill, but that's about it. I don't think we'll see a JW Orb in his first gun round here. But this is where Fnatic really started to turn it on on the CT side. Will they replicate it here? on the terrorist attacking forces. Issa, like you said, protecting MBK. He looked like he was absolutely done for. The CZ comes barreling through the smoke, but here he is just closing things out as well on the low HP flush up. So we've got two Kriegs, three AKs, and an orb for Mantle on the CT side. So we'll see whether he still got it with the old sniper. I didn't see it too much yesterday. Okay. Wow. A lot of early damage inflicted. Flusher actually just backed up, moonwalked into a molly, which may have very well led to his demise. A nade from Alexi follows suit. And now, oh my god, they're about to meet in the smoke. Oh, he sees his gun. Golden taking some damage in the meantime, though. Him and JW with just 57 health between them. Brolin wants to go into this stack, and he's just exposed the bottom. No, Issa, no, why no, did no. you pull the trigger? How does that happen? Oh! No! Let's go, Brolin. Brolin. I've never seen an angle like that. This guy's been doing his geometry. What in good grief was that? Straight into the AWPA. Okay. Well, it looked like he had no chance of even finding a kill, of course. Huh? 180 the into the first, wall bang onto the AWPA in the second. That is remarkable. They can still lose this. They can though. still definitely they lose the round. Four on two, and the HP is woeful. Fnatic with a minute on the clock here. The B side is open, but they're not aware of it. Continuing their approach towards A, MBK could be a real thorn in their side here. He's going to have to check the apartments, though. Tucks himself in. Good position considering the HP here. Brolin would almost certainly go down. The trade potential would be low. But Golden, he might be able to confirm that the B bomb side is clear at this stage. Trying to throw everything he's got on this side of the map. They could bail out and go towards B, but it'd make a lot of noise as he confirms it now. No one's here. And you can see them repositioning. Is there a swing from the CT now? Which is likely to be. They do lose Brolin. Knowing that they've lost B, they can hear the smokes blooming on the other side of the map. That's why they fall back there. Oh, there's a small chance they could catch them in transition here. The HP oh, GW! So low. Two HP! That spray from Valder did significant damage as well, softened up Crims even more. Does he have oh, just had a plan as that's well? That's insane. Yeah, it's all calculated and under control here, boys. Molotov's down, three versus two. Still a good chance he can win this. MBK has the kit, remember? Now the Krieg as well. Taking down the retreating Brolan. He's got a flashbang, which he will deploy a couple of times towards B. Crims will have to avoid that, but he comes the incendiary. I don't think that's going to be enough. Crims is absolutely eviscerating there. He's safe. And he's safe in the flames, even with 25 health. They don't spread quite far enough. And we find ourselves in a three on one. Valda, just the MP9, won't be going for it. And Fnatic pull it back after going 3 0 down. It's Brolan with the play from hell there in the apartments. The wall bang, especially. Unbelievable. Can't yeah. do anything about that. Well, actually. Well, Issa could have Issa. shot him the first yeah. I'd like to see it again. Can we get, like, I don't know if we can see what we saw again. It might likely just be Brolin's POV this time. But it did look like Issa had a good line of sight on him. So this is Brolin's frag. So he's, he's exposed now. Shot. Issa was holding this. Yeah. And then he steps out. Brolin gets this. But then the second frag continues his spray, repositions, and nails the head of Mantu. I've never seen that before. Yeah, I knew it was possible, never that cleanly. Like, he obviously got the sound cues on the other side there, but the Krieg, it does just so much damage. But by the bookshelf, it's normally like more of like straight down sure. the, the bedroom to the alley. Yeah, to get the straight line yeah, exactly. shot. But he That's got, normally he, where he got vision of him, I guess, retreating and knew he could get a, a real tight angle directly oh. to the head. There is another buy available, and MBK is throwing caution to the wind here. He's pushed himself down towards the common position, but Crims is ready and waiting, looking for the trade here. It will come through. They didn't anticipate a second player there. I don't think anyone would, to be honest. A very strange play, but one that sort of works out for them. A 4-4 four four technically favors the terrorist forces here, but it was a low buy. Their MP9 pushes and gets one kill, essentially, and they'll fall back. Yeah, less c complaints, I think, from OG in this case. Oh, Inferno. It's always got its twists and its turns. A battle for two parts of the map, and one of them is already Fnatic's. You'll see Golden deploying. This is his new coffin smoke, from my understanding, the last, first time yes. I saw it. That's what I was trying to work it out. It's pretty out. simple. So you just wedge yourself in the far corner and then jump throw uh, just under that beam. So it looks like Blooms it's going to be quicker. a bit of a faster bloomer, less orchestrated. Yeah, it doesn't just fly over the map and you see it coming and can react quickly. So that's cool. Better that one in mind. Now it's going to 
Surely now this shot actually whistles past the player up towards middle. Esselos has been a lot of trouble. Drops the smoke and Flasher will drop Vauda. Four versus three, but the AWP now still stuck. Man to an Issa fighting for their life here and apparently trying to remove their own as Issa will be dropping himself in the pit. Oh, if Valdo made the kill top mid there, this is a completely different round. Fnatic would have been completely surrounded. Top mid control would have been out of their hands. They knew their player was stuck in the pit. They were unable to push towards library because of the AWP presence. They wouldn't have been able to retreat anywhere. They would have just had to have to stand and fight. And then they would have been boxed in because that bomb had just been planned at 40 seconds on the clock. That would have been a dream scenario for OG. So Flusher right there with only six kills to his name. Number six was a massive one here in the context of the second half. That was Valdo he was dueling? Yeah, yeah, Valdo was hiding in trash. You saw Mantu was in the arch side taking the old pick, gets pushed back. Valdo was waiting for his cue. Such a well aware, swinging out and winning that fight. So that could be the turning point here because money's not looking good on the side well, of OG. They saved the orb of the M4, so there'll at least be a buy here. There'll be maybe PT50s around it. Um, but even Mantu's orb is enough to win around four, though. They just take a few fanatic mistakes here. Overzealous plays that walk into the crosshairs of the AWP. But knowing Mantu survives, they, they should be approaching with caution, I would assume. We'll see as Broland does recover his Krieg and we get into the next round here. 11 to 9. This is a big one, though. If Fnatic can pull this one through, they'll be 12 9 up. Money will be stabilizing for OG, but they just don't want to walk into this all. That's the main objective now. That's uh, a little bit of a one way, it looks like. Man 2 realizing there's a lot of action at the top of that side of Banana. Yeah, they dropped that smoke from the CT bench there. We've been trying that a few times recently in our games. Haven't really had the chance to harness its power, but it does give you a very nice one way. Blocks vision from the barrel position. Fnatic haven't gone for mid control here, which is pretty unusual with their standard game plan. You know, get banana control, take mid control, make them think about the mid to be as an option. Maybe now, with a minute left on the clock, they'll think about garnering that piece of real estate. We can see three Fnatic players across middle and alt middle right now. Make that a fourth as the bomb will now jump its way back to join the crew. Is there anything innately wrong uh, about the fact they're not contesting middle, given the fact they've got two rifles? Well, for the CT side, this is fine. They're just making a bit of a gamble stack and hoping they hit their shots. Right. But on rifles, normally you want to make sure that you're constantly jiggle peeking middle or having some form of vision. We talk about it. You either need to have vision towards banana or towards top middle because otherwise you're going to be fighting in what could be a 2v5 or 3v5 scenario. And unless you can really harness those crossfires, you're going to be in a lot of trouble. But this is the perfect play. We love it. Arch side is nice and safe. Longer jewels. Yeah, and you've avoided the AWP as well here. Remember, they both have rifles towards B, but the USP seems to be delivering headshots here. Oh. A chance now for the CTs, but the P250 had to convert there. Doesn't happen. Round over. Will be 12 to 9. They've got no choice but to save the orb and the M4, which is the better play, to be honest with you. And uh, they'll have a nice strong buy going forward, as they'll have $2,400 loss bonus on top of what they have right now, which is about 2000 You can see Mantu with already a healthy amount of cash. He'll get 2,400 on top of that. And if he saves his orb, he should be absolutely fine. I don't think anyone's hunting them either because Fnatic's money is pretty good, but it's not exactly established yet. They'll get $3,500 per player for winning this round. And they've got four players surviving. So they'll be healthy. Yeah, one thing to note is in the previous gun rounds that we had going on, OG really wanted to contest for banana control. They were really, really aggressive, pushing down, fighting, spamming through the smokes, almost going the whole way. So... They understand the importance of making sure Fnatic can't have that part of the map for free. But Fnatic are more used to the gritty style of CS. We were talking about this yesterday in the Astralis game. Astralis are very formulaic. I think you know you could probably see a lot more similarities between them and OG than if you would look at OG and Fnatic. Fnatic here will take space. They'll punish you. They'll make more risky individual plays. They're going to make a lot more assumptions in the way that they approach the game. And those assumptions mean they won't clear a corner. Maybe they'll run through a place that other players would walk through. They would uh, make some of these riskier maneuvers. And that's why we talk about Fnatic rounds coming in right here. And, well, aggression is one way to make sure that they can't have their own way. That won't be the case for OG. They're playing passive towards Banana. They've already lost vision top middle. The Molotovs and Smokes are very good from Fnatic to push them back. It might be something a bit more in transition. They might let them take the territory, then take it back mid-round, and that would negate all of this Fnatic utility that's come out early. Brolan, though, so dangerous in these apartments. Happy to take dry peaks. And you can see why the aim flicks them towards the head of Issa, but unable to pull the trigger in the nick of time there. So maybe a bit of aggression here from the CT side. They nade towards B once again. Flasher devours two of the grenades. As OG have the advantage. JW looking to snatch it away. Pushing the smoke. MBK, same position that Crimson's in before. Commonly pre-fired. 
flushed down by Molotovs and JW. At least aware of its possibility. Checks towards Arch for now. Does he look and commit to the left? He doesn't. He's going to actually just look towards the Arch itself. MPK has no idea until now. Wow, that was patient play from FBK. Now just the three T's. Oh, oh they won't pull this one oh. back. And Golden can find this frag in the smoke. He's trying to knock him off the boost. He can't. No smoke. It'll just be an underhand flash and a repeat spraying into Flusher. And now just two remaining. Golden needs to find a multi kill. One won't be a sufficient. Bomb down. Mantu hunting. And Crim's two CTs to find precision onto oh. the first. He'd have to jump over the Mantu aim, but passive and just walk straight into the crosshairs. He was hoping Mantu would have a bit of a deeper line at that point, maybe towards Ruins, and he could actually just bait out a shot at Mantu with the more aggressive one right at the corner there. Manages to take him down. Very good stuff, though, especially from Alexi B, just making sure that he was doing damage through the smoke there, dropping the flashbang, delaying as long as possible. Took one down with him as they find double digits here. Still anyone's game. Mantu showing us what he's been capable of with the AWP. Very versatile player. He can do it all. As we head into the next round here, no double up setup spotted just yet, but a Krieg for Issa. On the CT side, and Valda just launches himself into Doom, but uh, Alex will be trying to pull a couple back, and he'll be successful here. Valda from the grave will take Golden with the incendiary as well. They've actually got the man advantage here. Another competitive half from OG. They keep coming. We said consistency was an issue. These last two days, they've consistently pushed all of their opponents. This is Fnatic's domain, and OG picked it into them and are keeping up. Towards A, this is on that balcony, has the support of two players, more so one. Mantu's tucks on site now, he'll be much more effective. He can support short, it's like he can focus his attention balcony, and the bomb's already there on A. Now the CTs can react, already pushing down Banana, and this is a neutralized another threat, just Crims. He shouldn't have a single say in this one. Another locked in round for OG. Issa won't have a chance to close it himself. Crims just finds his first of this one versus four. Great shot. But I think he might be right here. His days are numbers. Good Molotov. Gives us some sound cues towards Mantu and does significant damage as well. Picks up the AWP. Pulls another one back. And remember, he's already actually hurt Mantu here. A two versus one now. He can Crims, be. known as the mastermind of the clutches, holding towards middle. And MBK's in the apartments. They've lost track of him at this point. They have no B control. They're not sure. He could just knife out and go to B at this stage. And they're starting to panic. The oh, rotations are coming through. They have no idea as to where he's heading. And it is towards B. Crims is ahead of the pack, but he has no utility, and this cross might not happen for him. MBK is about to arrive at the same time. We'll actually beat him there as well. Knife out, grenades through, and Crims oh, will just oh, get the plug down at this stage. Probably can't win the round. The HE will finish him off, and here comes MBK just to confirm things, as it was a fantastic effort. A couple of kills, a bomb plant. He can't ask much more than that, but there was a moment there where Crims, I thought he was going to win it. Yeah, kept it real costly, didn't he? And look, that timing, if MBK hadn't thrown the molly, if he didn't get caught in that duel and was able to plant the bomb and then reposition in the one-on-two situation, it's like finding a needle in a haystack at that point. There's so many places that he could be. You know, has he pushed back to Banana? Is he in ruins? Is he ready to fight us? We have to be careful. Man to has to ro rotate over. There was a real chance there. That was a fantastic round, and they just wanted to make sure they could collect that Krieg. Very important piece of weaponry right there. That's why the defuse was delayed. They were just taking their time to make sure that they could collect all the best bits off the battlefield. And now Fnatic, the plan is good. It's put them in a position where they can get another buy on the board. But will they? That's, and of course they will. It's Fnatic. What was I thinking? Yeah, I, do, I think we put them in the same category as Na'Vi, perhaps not to the same uh, extreme extent, but they definitely do. Uh, they, they, they don't feel too hindered or hamstrung by the sacrificial buys. You can see Mac 10s, JW's on a Deagle. But even now, sports have been experimenting with uh, an intentional Deagle into their full weapon rounds. Like that flash for flush up. He was able to swing out. He is a bit of a master of finding this control towards the banana position. A force by of sorts here from Fnatic. You can see them limping in with the Mac 10 and Deagle. Fortunately, there are a couple of players with our helmets there. That's going to be Alexi B and MBK. So watch out for their interactions against Golden here. Great for Brolan. His signature weapon and a B execution looking very likely. You know they've got some very strong B executions. And for now, it's an adjustment. OG will boost Valder up and towards the new boxes. A common pre-fire, but does enable you to sometimes get the first kill and drop off, depending on how chaotic the execution is. You safe from flashes up there? 
Uh, it depends on the flashes. Generally speaking, if you stand ah, up, you can perfect. see it. You're not. Yeah, you're fine. And he does get the first, but dropping off isn't an option. There's flames on the floor. He's lost his teammate. Valda needs three. He does. Before being knocked off his perch, he's found the triple. Numbers favoring the boys from OG on the retake, but Brolin, prime position, prime real estate for at least an equalizer. Does catch MVK. Puts us into a 2v2. Kit on Mantu, closing the gap now from construction. JW, though, is in such a power spot. Yeah. Using the verticality of the bomb site here, it is going to be Mantu. We'll have to bring out the flick if he's going to stand a chance of getting him here. They do have a kit available, a smoke as well, but JW's spot, you're dead on, Alex. This is looking too powerful. The bomb's too far gone. They can't really pre fire this one. Oh, maybe they can. Mantu will spot him, and he's fumbled the movement of this thing. One versus. Oh, they've given it up. Just like that. They've dropped the ball Just in like a that. massive way there. Oh. oh. Surely he knows you can't drop directly down from that position. Apparently not. The way he was moving suggested he thought you could just drop off to the left. You definitely can't. You run into the wall. There is a corner there. You have to jump back and then to the left. I'm not sure as well. Like, if you're going to find yourself in such an exposed position and you have the Molotov, don't pull out the Molotov. I think at that point, you're just having the gun out the entire time. That's really really gonna cost Fnatic. Let's not forget that they threw all of their eggs into that basket. It was Mac 10s, it was Deagles. it was scrappy, and they're Yikes. gonna be thrown straight back into a half by a ton of utility though. And these are the rounds that typically you just say, flush a go kill. Go be a rascal in Banana. Make it look like there's five of us there. I feel like they've got his number on Inferno though. All of his tendencies, all his usual tricks Very aren't true. working. He's six and 18 right now, right? He's normally dominating Banana on the T side. He's normally out there by himself, taking no damage walking in, having a good time. We haven't seen any of that. It's been very scrappy finishes and equal situations in towards me. They haven't had many advantages. And now three rounds against them as they enter round number 25 here with just the CZs and Deagles. Like you said, though, utility available. And there's something about Fnatic and Inferno. The CZ75, that seems to work out for them. That looked like a, a bit of a failed smoke towards the apartments. We'll see if that works out to be true. No, it looks good. Brolan drops it towards Pit, takes damage for it. But he's in. And now he's keeping MBK busy at least, but ooh, damage converted. He actually takes the frag and there's no trade available. This is going to go hunting. It Golden in the meantime, dueling with Valder and CT spawn. Look at the chaos Fnatic have managed to manufacture. Alexi, however, seems to be thriving in it on the banana. Double kill does not look like enough, though, at least to stop the plan. Fnatic have managed to make a very winnable 2v2 occur. They've got a Molotov here. Not for Golden, though. He'll come from Banana and he's at least one. Gonna happen. Might be able to finish things off in the flashbang. Oh, perfect flash. from JW. Can't ask for much more than that. Flashbang comes over. CZ in hand. He got six bullets remaining oh, as well. No. Couldn't be any better. Look what that's done to the CC side of the economy, it's right? Winning those buggered. rounds, it was great to put rounds on the board, but in the fashion that they did it. That they 2v2, have, right? Exactly, right? Not having enough numbers survive oh, to build an economy the, here. The comms there is so great. You see Golden look towards the left-hand side of the wall. JW's already preemptively called. Flashing. Flashing. flashing for you now. And it couldn't have been better there. He was 100% flashed. AWP as well. It was a guaranteed frag. And we said Fnatic, CZ's, Inferno on the T side. Something about it. And it rings true once again. It's the force buy from OG. This could cost him the map now. Lose this one. If 14, 12, and your money in terms of loss bonus, we had $1,900 next round. This is pretty much do or die. If OG loses round, they lose the map. Well, that's a bleak outlook, isn't it? Considering yeah. what they've presented. Ooh, baby. Let's see what you've got then, NBK. He's been holding middle down with MP9s and Deagles alike, but this time a lot at stake. A nade to, dip, to catch anyone lingering in second middle. The Crims, he's expecting that one. And as the nade is thrown, now they take the territory. JW into the midline and does get spotted by the NBK jiggle. CT utility deployed. First of its kind. There's two more smokes where that came from. And Molotov to clear the close corner. JW's taking no chances into such a crucial round of play. Backing away. Interesting. Mantu's going to go. A lot of control. Oh. And uh, Issa just got caught straight through the smoke. MBK's not going to like that one. And he's just looking for some sort of safe haven as the bullets and the Molotovs are all thrown straight through the smokes. And another body dropped. Brolin, he's done a lot to contribute to this round already. Golden alongside him. One last chance, and it was Alexi B. Now the round just seems too far gone. Five still standing as Mantu cowering to save what little he has. Well, if they go to B to save, guess what? That's where Fnatic are. So you won't be saving anything <laughs> over towards that side of the map, let me tell you. Yeah, I think you might be right there. And they're still, with 20 seconds, they're going to go all the way back towards A with the bomb now. So they're going to make sure they're making this the, the cleanest and most efficient round possible. Bear in mind, this is a force fight, not an eco. And every wow. kill they get has such 
a massive knock-on effect here. The ramifications of this round, I can't even put into words. $1,900 for OG into the next round. That's a full eco. They'll be 14, 12 down. So you're already giving up map point at this stage. And that's if Valda even saves a from us. That's, that's about the best lifeline you've got here. He's cooked, isn't he? They want to knife him. They want to slice him. Valda being hunted and Golden's having none of that nonsense. Crims just looks like the parent showed up and spoiled the party. Yeah, they shot him in the head as well. It's like, come on, Dad, please. Dad, I wasn't finished. <laughs> Time to go home, son. Come on. Home work. What a knife. Put your knife away. <laughs> <laughs> but all of the other kids have got them. <laughs> to be fair, JW, he probably is going for the new EPL record of knife kills so far. He got a double oh, that's yesterday. that's a good stat we can look into. Yeah, he it? got two on Inferno yesterday by the Coffins, you remember. That unbelievable that wasn't, that wasn't two in the series, by the way. That was two and in one, the same round. round. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, like I said, it has to be the full eco, but he can win these rounds. That's... Not good enough from uh -oh. JW. Oh, just a wide swing, knowing their money's low. They were so cautious in the last round. I'm not sure why they are giving this one up in such a convincing manner. But here we go. Brolan starts to stabilize. Finds a couple of kills in return. They know they've pushed middle. B should be open. Crims towards underpass here. But yeah, took his eye off the prize there for a second. JW's punished for it. Now they've got to protect that weapon towards middle. Oh, this is, they, I don't think they lose the round here, but it could be expensive. There's a chance OG get out with a couple of rifles, perhaps. Yeah, the hunt for Brolin is on, but he's long gone. Crims has been given the responsibility. Given his health, he can take a duel versus these unarmored USPs a little more. Aggressively. Yep, playing music now. They're isn't playing it? Yeah. music with the guns, spamming them through the smoke. At this point here, 15 is guaranteed on the board for Fnatic. That one, I don't know if it even was up for debate, but if it was, the answer will come through in about five, four, three, two, one. Yeah, that's right. Don't need these kills, boys, friends. Take it easy. Stays alive. And they've got map point. We did say that round a couple of rounds ago was going to lead them to this stage. 15-12, and now only three in a row on their CT side with another low buy here. Crims was rated a top 20 player from HLTV.org in 2019. He was 17th, 2018, he was 18th, and 2015, 7th. Two major titles to his name. I think what we're trying to say to you is he's a pretty experienced vet. Yeah, a name that you, uh, you won't forget in a hurry. Aggressive Molotov down early from the CTs does signify perhaps a slowdown from Fnatic after all that ETT burn. No, Flusher doesn't know the meaning of slow. Straight up banana, takes his part of the map back, plants his flag, says Flusher's domain. Yeah, that's when the MAC-10 makes the most sense. So you know they're on the back foot financially. You've got them oh. on that point. Flash has been having a quiet game and he starts just barreling up banana, but there's still a chance they lose this round. Issa's position looks prime for a kill here. JW though. Finds him, he gets dinked in the process, but still nails the shot. Five on two, we should be done here. He's actually going to give him the same fight. <laughs> He's better of it. He needs to get together here. Like, these single fights they keep having alone. Like, Manti's going to get out of here. I'm not sure who the player is, but there it is. That should confirm things. Valder, alone towards B, they know exactly where he is. He is very good in the clutch scenarios. No kit, no helmet, no utility. Three on one, bomb down. I think we know where this is going. Yes, there is certainly one outcome that seems significantly more likely. Valder has the... Uh, all of the tools. Never mind. He uh, needed. Uh, the tools were a full health bar and a weapon. Kevlar yeah. vest was a nice bonus. And Well, at this point, he is just going to be walking straight into the golden off angle. No one's expecting that in a situation like that. Fnatic, they take OG's map pick. They're back to the...